Here with Concordia head track and field coach Matt Beisel after the Bulldog early bird meet. And we got Coach Hin Hinkfoot in here, new new school record. Doing productive he's, work, uh, clearly. He's proud of um, 18 auto marks, though, today and, and a lot of big performances. Just what are your the first thoughts uh, at the conclusion of this meet? Well, first of all, to God be the glory. I've um, been praying. I pray a lot for these these guys and girls as they do their thing for safety but also just that God be glorified through all that they do and, and that they're able to walk away satisfied with performances and yesterday in the pent and the heptathlon and today in the main events we had some really good things happen. Uh, the, the two biggest highlights are anytime a Concordia program standards broken and, and we had that happen in space today two records um, first of all Haley Miles a sophomore from North Platte St. Pat's ended up bombing over a foot PR and the long jump, 19 feet, four and a half inches, and beat Carol Bailey's mark, uh, long standing since 1989. And then you had Adriana Rodensel, who dropped almost two tenths of a second off of her 60 hurdle school record, and both of them automatically qualified for nationals. Those were two biggies, but I feel like across the board, in every event, we had personal bests, we had B standards, we had automatic standards, and it definitely shows that these athletes are putting in the work, they're putting in a good mindset, and this awesome team culture that we have is, is, is really helping things along. But yeah, that was, I'm really happy with how it went. Right, how, how do you explain just why, how your, your team was so well prepared to, to succeed um, right away at the first meet? Yeah, well, I, obviously in cross country, we, we have a lot of training under our belts, and even though we just took a big break in training and are just slowly building back up in volume and intensity, um, we, we still had a lot left from the season, and the 3K was a really strong race in both the men and the women. Um, and then you also had, you know, Riley in the thousand and a couple of her teammates. But in fall track, I mean, these guys get, you know, little summer conditioning to do six, seven weeks out. They get here, and once we get started, um, September 1st, five days a week, they practice, and they work together, and so they're not sitting around eating candy and Doritos. I mean, they are work, well, maybe they are, but anyway, they're working hard, too, and uh, they're getting a lot done, and so as we, as like Coach Hankfoot, Coach Samuels, the Throws coaching staff, Coach Giggy, as those guys and gals put together a progressive training plan, um, it all kind of has them ready to go at this point in time. And it, and it doesn't have them ready, ready, but we're on an ascending spiral through Christmas break. And so, yeah, we don't get everything we want in the first meet, but today was awesome. <laughs> I, I guess lastly, how do you, you build on it? I know everybody deserves a, a break for Christmas and to kind of refresh, but how, how do you build a, upon this? Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, all of us coaches function autonomously with our event groups and, and plan and all those things. So I don't know exactly what the other coaches have planned, but I know we're all having them do work over break and, and weight room for sure, lifting three days a week. In the distance events that I coach, um, we are on an upward progression um, just to get this idea called super compensation where we're just hitting them with increasing doses of stimulus in different energy systems. So they're going to increase their volume, they're going to continue lifting, they're going to do some work that's going to prepare them for when we come back. So you know, right now we're like 50 to 60% of what we're going to be when we get back from break. 